Well, hello, my beautiful Cancerians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for mid-July right through to mid-August 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Cancerians, this is your singles love reading. I'm going to get your overarching energy first and then follow it with a Celtic cross just to see who is coming in your way. Also, I want to let you know that I'm opening up a free competition for one subscriber to win a free personal reading. Um, I'll let you know how to win that at some point in the reading because uh, some people are here just for the reading and they don't want to waste anybody's time. So I'll let you know about it later. Let's get straight to your reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, going angels can you please guide my beautiful cancerians what do they need to know can you please guide them for their highest good what are they meant to be aware of at this time can you please show them who is coming in towards them regarding love can you show them the way what are they to expect at this time thank you so much spirit guides going angels can you please guide my beautiful cancerians what do they need to know please show them the way what are they meant to see Okay, so the star is your first card. So a lot of you are um, healing from something. Um, it could also be that you're trying to gain clarity on what it is that you want in a relationship and um, you're getting to know yourself in a deeper way. I'm actually hearing a song right now. Um, Oof. Okay, this song is not going to resonate with everyone, of course, but I'm being given it, so I have to mention it. Um, You've lost that loving feeling. Whoa, that loving feeling. You've lost that loving feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. Okay, um, so this song, um, very famous song, but so famous I can't remember who sings it right now. Um, I want to say it's by something like you know, like the Everly Brothers or something. Maybe it's something Brothers. Anyway, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to leave that because when I'm channeling, I can't access that memory sometimes. Uh, so I'll have to look it up online, but it's very, very famous. Um, and it can indicate that some of you have been feeling a little bit low on the old motivation side regarding love. Doesn't mean you don't want it. It may feel that some of you are like um, feeling really tested. You may feel that perhaps love is not coming for you at this moment in time. So so you've almost like taken your attention off it and not making it your priority at this time. So um, please take it as it resonates. It could also be that you're going to hear this song in the next coming weeks or months that indicate you're about to have a change going on when it comes to uh, your status or uh, meeting somebody new. But we're going to go to the Celtic cross to go a little bit deeper because right now what I can see here is that you are going to start to feel a bit more sociable, allowing yourself to be seen. But ultimately, I feel like you are focusing on your own needs at first. I mean, the star energy is an indication, of course, as I said, that you are healing. Some of you may have gone through a very difficult separation or breakup at some point, and you're just trying to you know, get over that. And it may not be that you want to uh, reconnect to a person from your past. It's more that you may be trying to heal the experience. You know, it's almost like you are taking the person out of the equation at the moment, and you're just looking at the experience to shift your perspective in order to, you know, build your confidence and really dissect it. So whether you broke up with someone months or years ago, um, you know, it can be that in some way it still affects how you operate in love. It's influenced you in some way, may have made you feel a little bit more cautious or, you know, a little bit 
basically shyer to open up to love because the birds is in the resistance position. Now the star energy could also indicate because this is your protagonist energy that you're wishing for love right now. You can't see it on the horizon. There's nobody out there that's really sparking your attention, but it is coming for you. I feel like a, a love wish will be uh, realized on the physical plane. But also I feel some of you especially since it's number 16 uh, in the Lenormand deck, this is you kind of looking at breaking old habits, cycles of repeat in your life. Now, it doesn't have to be to do with love. It can be in any area of your life where you're just noticing that perhaps there hasn't been a fair exchange and you are valuing yourself, your own needs, and you're basically working out what it is that you want in a relationship, what's really important, what's a deal breaker in a relationship at this time. And, you know, this is also about you choosing a healthier love, it's about embracing a new phase of life because um, I feel like you are opening yourself up to peacocking yourself in some way to allowing yourself to be seen some of you may not have been as sociable as usual or you may have been in a little bit of hermit mode um, and it's really about noticing areas of your life where you could uh, perhaps, you know, embrace new places or new faces a little bit more. And I'm not here to point any fingers at you. You know, life, it gets in the way. Sometimes we got a lot of responsibility. We have tasks. It's really hard to find ourselves in a position to meet someone new. And even when we do get a little bit more sociable and we get out there, sometimes it's just not the right person or the right place. So I feel some of you are kind of like looking at that, the mystery of love and the universe and how out of a sea of people in the whole wide world, people tend to find the one. So I feel like some of you are asking those bigger philosophical questions at this moment in time. Now the birds it's in the resistance position. So this can indicate that some of you have been feeling a bit restless, okay? And you may have been discussing love or relationships with your nearest and dearest, your friends or your soul tribe members. But also I feel there's an invitation connected to this that you haven't received yet. Okay, so there is something to come in for you, an invitation. Um, and I feel this is something that um, you're going to go to, you're gonna have a lot of fun at it, but also I feel there's someone at that event who wants to get to know you better who actually inquires about you to somebody else at first. They will be more direct, but they wanna know about you and they ask someone else, um, you know, is that beautiful Kent Syrian single, um, you know, what's their story, what's their deal, things like that. I feel like someone wants to find out about you at first. They're actually smitten with you. Uh, as soon as they see you, they've only got eyes for you, but they want to make sure that, you know, you're available. They want to make sure that um, they can come towards you in a very chivalrous fashion. Now, don't get me wrong, they are being very authentic, but I feel this person has been burnt in a relationship in the past, and they're actually just just a little bit cautious about opening up to love as well. So I feel like they're, it's like at this event, they kind of ask, well, who's that? Are they single? And they kind of just get a little bit of information about you before they approach you. And they are going to take the lead. They are going to come towards you. Male or female, not a gender specific reading. I feel this person, they see you and then they will make a beeline for you, but they've done a little bit of inquiring before they actually um, meet you. Uh, I also see here that um, there is about 75%, this is quite high actually, 75% energy of some of you, you're going to meet a person through a friend. Now, I feel this is a person you have not met yet. So it could be a friend of a friend that, you know, maybe your friend works with somebody or maybe uh, your friend has someone, another friend from out of town coming over. It feels very sort of like uh, they know someone that you know. Okay, that's coming through very strongly in this reading. Now, the outcome energy, and remember this reading is for the next six weeks, we have the bear. So this is a very independent, protective energy. So I feel like you have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders. I feel life is pretty serious for you right now. Um, although you will be embracing fun, going out there, you know, going to different events, I feel, you know, that you've got a lot on your plate. You're very busy. And uh, the bear can also indicate that you are someone who is uh, very independent, very strong, and you may have wondered if this, 
you know, strength intimidates people, but that's not true at all. I feel like the right person, they are going to love you no matter what. And I feel like you've had to be strong. You've had some experiences that may have disappointed you, let you down, or been really tough to deal with. And I'm sending you a huge hug out there, but you're strong enough to deal with anything, my beautiful Cancerians. And that's something that this person really loves about you, your strength, okay? Because there's an affinity here. I feel this person they may have gone through something similar. Uh, now, some of you, not all of you, some of you may have been bullied when you were younger and you have started to try and overcome self-confidence issues, okay? So this could be something that perhaps has been with you all of your life that sometimes, um, you know, an insecurity sort of rises up and you've tried to overcome a uh, self-confidence issue, I feel like you are getting more confident as you start to know yourself, what you're capable of, and really celebrate yourself that you've been through a lot. And here you are showing up for yourself. And I feel like you're going to get a lot of like um, spiritual downloads over the next coming weeks and months, epiphanies about yourself and how awesome you are, that you are a gift. I feel like you've forgotten that or perhaps it's something you're learning right now that, you know, you are a Cancerian. You have a beautiful, warm, loving heart. You are the linchpin of love. You know, every card that's in the tarot decks um, that are connected to love, it tends to be a Cancerian card. Um, but also you may have noticed that you tend to be someone who's very nurturing and people come towards you for healing, support. And sometimes um, people who are toxic or try to control you in some way have gravitated towards you to, you know, have a bit of your sparkle, your shine, your care, your nurture and your devotion because it feels good to be in your loving company. And you may have started to wonder what you get back from this energy. You may have felt that they took your kindness for weakness or um, that I'm being given a word abandonment. So some of you may have been ghosted or some of you may have felt um, you know, left behind in a connection. And remember when people are removed from our lives, it's for a reason. It tends to mean that there is someone else who is more in alignment with the love that you truly deserve and desire heading in your direction. Now, we've also got the book. So some of you, you know, this is about the history of you. This could be that you are getting clarity on who you are, the experiences you've had, the lessons that you've learned. Um, I'm seeing lots of post-it notes right now in the water because I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading. And I'm being given a sense of a reminder of things not to forget. So this is about what you've been through, you know, the life lessons, don't forget them, you know, uh, you're breaking cycles of repeat right now. And that can feel like a very alienating or disorientating kind of experience where you feel a little bit lonely or isolated. Remember, as we start to spiritually evolve, and this is you like getting guidance from source, um, then we start to like evolve from friendships as well. You may be noticing that friendships are sort of falling away or people are getting into relationships and, you know, it just feels like there is some downsizing going on, but you're about to meet the right uh, people who are meant to be in your life, attract different people into your world. But also I'm getting this sense that you are being guided towards a new person who wants to get to know you. Now, very strongly, I feel that there's an invitation that you haven't received yet. Some of you may be thinking about uh, taking a class that kind of informs you about something. I mean, it could be that you are upskilling at work or it could be that, you know, you're learning uh, to step into a managerial role or bossing up in some area of your life. But it could also be that you're learning more about you. So it could be that you're taking a class like a yoga class, learning more about what you're capable of in terms of your body, your movements, getting more mobility. For some of you, it could be that you are... Um, opening yourself up to meditation or even taking a class regarding psychology or you're, you're doing something that informs you, body, mind, and soul. And I feel there could be an invitation that comes in and around this experience. It could come from this experience. So it could be that you meet new class members, for example, and they invite you somewhere. But I'm really getting a sense that it's like a friend of a friend. So it could be like a more familiar event where you're invited to something and a person you know, they bring someone you don't know. And uh, I feel there could be some 
uh, connection there because yeah I'm feeling strong connection there but I need to go a little bit deeper because right now the overarching energy is about healing it's about you being a little bit more sociable it's about you learning about you your family lineage as well some of you are literally breaking patterns and cycles of repeat from your family lineage you know ancestral wounding they are very tough experiences so um, I'm sending you a huge hug out there if you've been called to be the one to break those patterns. Uh, but let's get straight to uh, your Celtic cross to see what else is happening here. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. You're feeling dissatisfied. You're at a period of self-evaluation and you've been waiting a long time for love. We've got the Nine of Wands there. Very cautious. So I feel some of you may have... Um, had a very difficult experience in love. I've mentioned that already. So healing is definitely on the cards for you. I mean, some of you are like, you know what? I'm healing. I'm learning to fall in love with my life and to reignite that spark, that motivation. Perhaps you have lost that loving feeling because perhaps love has hurt you in some way or let you down. So therefore, you're trying to recalibrate and get back to who you are and rediscover a part of yourself that you feel like you've lost touch with for some time. And now in that knowledge, you know, you put yourself in a powerful position to change your circumstances as you get the Knight of Wands there. Knight of Wands can be a card where you are uh, really kind of uh, hoping for new adventures. You're opening yourself up to new experiences, new places, new faces. Uh, but there's a time and a place for that. We have the Hermit. Yes, I could feel Hermit mode energy from you at this moment in time. And the Hermit is um, a period of spiritual evolution. It's a period of, you know, being so fed up of the dating scene or so fed up of being let down or people wasting your time. It's like, why can't people just be honest with what they want in a relationship? So some of you it's like you're asking those bigger philosophical questions. You're tired. You're just tired of the dating scene. You're tired of uh, the same old thing. So I feel some of you, you know, it, I'm being given the words quality over quantity. So you get a lot of attention, but you're conserving yourself and you're waiting for the one. We've got the four of swords there. I'm just going to go one more because I am seeing someone who's healing. This may not resonate with everyone. You've got a three of swords here, which means things are difficult right now. Four of swords is a solitary energy, can indicate that you are, um, you know, taking a bit of a break to take care of yourself at this time. doesn't mean you're not going to meet anybody, but it can mean that the time frame got the three of wands. So this is to be a little bit more sociable. Again, it's connecting to an invitation. Something you haven't received yet is coming through. Let's see what happens after that three of wands when you are um, spending time in company. Can you show me a bit more about that? We have the ace of pentacles. So this is the investment in a new connection. So I just wanted to see because in the near future, I would say in the next six weeks, I got to be honest with you, I don't see you uh, meeting this person in the next six weeks. I mean, it could be on the cusp and then you're about to get to know this person a little bit more, but uh, it is going to happen. So uh, let's go through it bit by bit. Seven of Pentacles, you're making some adjustments in your life, but also you're opening yourself up to a new strategy. If you always do what you always do in love, you're always going to get the same outcome. So I definitely see here that you may be approaching love in a different way. But also this is a card that indicates something that you manifest may not have worked out as you thought it would. And um, you're having to admit what is no longer for you. So you're in the period of letting go of something. Even if, for example, this experience happened many years ago, it can have influenced you. It could have been a very slow process um, to basically heal and let go. I mean, you are a very sensitive person. Uh, if someone does you wrong, though, there's no going back. So I feel, you know, you may have taken yourself out of something where it wasn't fulfilling. Also, the Seven of Pentacles is the weight, okay? Being patient, working on your projects, focusing on yourself, basically cultivating your landscape, waiting for uh, love to come in, the right person, of course, and creating a healthy environment to allow love in. So you are in a period of spiritual evolution there. Um, I feel, you know, being patient allows the right one to come towards you. Nine of Wands, this is a card of caution, 
okay? Nine of Wands can indicate the wounded warrior. Now, of course, this is not going to resonate with everyone, this reading, but I can't choose the cards and I can't choose the energy. And we've got a Three of Swords here, so that's very painful experiences. Um, we've got the Nine of Wands, which means some of you... Um, you know, you've either been hurt in the past or things have been so difficult to find love that you are cautious and you feel that perhaps love is not going to come for you, but that's not true at all. Some of you are actually questioning, why has love not shown up right now? What's going on? Is it something to do with me? Well, the answer is absolutely no. We all have a mission in each lifetime and sometimes we are put on pause, put on hold to focus on our goals or our sense of life purpose or developing our spiritual gifts or our beliefs or to find our soul tribe or a place in the world and the pause is there for a reason also we must remember that whilst we are on a very enriching soul path so is the person that we're meant to be with and sometimes you know if they are taking their time to learn their lessons then of course there could be a slight delay in your person getting to you as well there's a lot of factors going on there but also the nine of wands is in the crossing position. So for some of you, you've been feeling really isolated. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel it's like 3 a.m. thoughts. You know, when you're alone in bed and you think it'd be really nice if I just had someone to just give me a little hug or, you know, spoon me or something like that. You know, it's kind of like it would be really nice to have a person that I could rely on, tell my day to. Uh, now, of course, you have people who support you and are around you and you can do that with those people but at the same time you're like it's not the same so I feel some of you those 3 a.m. thoughts are there however I feel like you're showing up for your life you're a very strong independent person who's very self-sufficient you don't need a person but you want to find your um partner in crime, as it were. Um, but the Nine of Wands is also a card that indicates that you are currently reevaluating circumstances. You know what you want, you certainly know what you do not want, and you're being careful about the person that you choose next. Remember, it is your choice. And I feel like you're about to meet someone where instantly you just know that you are going to invest in this relationship and vice versa and is the start of something really wonderful, enriching, but also has a lot of potential to grow into something really solid, true and special. Um, also, the Nine of Wands in this position, it basically means you're having faith. You're trying to have faith. And you may have felt very protective over your heart. That's something that tends to happen if you've gone through an experience that has been very difficult. For some of you, it is a relationship that you had in the past where it uh, didn't go the way you hoped for. There was a separation, maybe arguments. There was just an energy of being disappointed. And I'm sending you a huge hug out there. Uh, some of you have gone through a bereavement is what I'm seeing there. And some of you are like, you know what? I'm healing. I can't even think about love right now. I just need to just put one foot in front of the other and do my day. So again, I'm sending you so much hugs and so much love out there. Um, there is no words to comfort during times like this. Um, you know, the emotion will ebb and flow as it's meant to until such time as you start to heal. Okay, so with that three of swords, it can indicate bereavement, grief, um, but it can also indicate that there is like an energy of difficulty about finding love right now and you're focusing on other things. So uh, with a lot of respect, I'm going to move away from this energy. Uh, what is on your earthly plane? We have the Nine of Pentacles, independence, learning to love yourself and fall in love with your independent life. This is about you loving aspects of yourself that perhaps you've felt it's been hard to. This is about being comfortable in your own skin. It's about focusing on your projects. It's about being fabulous and enjoying the moment and saying, you know, this is me. You're learning more about you, what you want. There's freedom there. So I feel like you're being encouraged to, you know, do life and just enjoy the moment. Of course, you have like uh, other pressures in life, responsibilities, tasks, but this is about you also being really disciplined with yourself and saying that uh, because we have the Knight of Wands there as well, there is the potential for a fling. I want you to be aware of that. But looking at the energy um, with the Three of Swords there, I mean, a flirtation 
doesn't have to be a fling. It can be a flirtation there. Flirtation is nice. It kind of like makes everyone feel really good about themselves. You don't need it. You're not here for an ego boost. I totally see that. But it's nice to get from time to time. So I feel there is a potential for that. And I also see that someone is going to pay you a lot of attention before you actually meet the one. I want you to be aware of that. So there may be someone, intuitively you'll know that there's a person who's paying some attention, but it feels like it's not solid or it just feels like they're wonderful and exciting to be with and there's chemistry and it's really, you know, but it just feels like it may not be sustainable or you may even have a conversation with this person and they may not be looking for something serious. I feel there is a marker there of that occurring in the next six weeks before you meet the one. Okay, so that's coming through there as well. But right now you're getting a lot of attention. And with the Two of Pentacles in the past position, this can indicate a couple of things. One is you're trying to be in the rhythm of life, trying to be in the flow, but you need to create balance and harmony in your life. And if you've been doing too much of one thing, if you're in a career, for example, focusing on your career ladder to rise up and you know become your own boss or um, move up the ladder and gain more money, or it could be that you have children and you need to focus on them, or it could be that you're retired and you're focused on your projects and your family in some way. The Two of Pentacles is create space and balance. You need to create space for love to come on in. So, um, you know, having fun, doing your projects, really important to have the best of both worlds. But when you get the Two of Pentacles, this is an indication of when you're in the flow and loving your life and falling in love with your life, then things will start to develop in very unexpected ways, okay? So I really want to uh, pull a card on this because with the Two of Pentacles, I get a sense that you're super busy. And if you are super busy, that's wonderful. But at the same time, create some space for you. Make sure you have time to, um, you know, connect to fun, playfulness. Uh, the Knight of Wands, the initial energy I've got, because this is in the potential position, this is, you know, a desire for new adventures, new places, new faces, new exciting things to do. So I feel like you're opening up to leading with your passions to discover new ways of enjoying life. Uh, I do feel this is about you being very goal oriented as well and kind of like trying to be a bit of a free spirit. Not that you don't want to settle down and find love because the Ace of Pentacles is telling me that you do want eventually to find someone, but I feel like you're not really in a rush. And part of you... Uh, because that song came out about, you know, lost that loving feeling. Um, oh gosh, I'm going to kick myself when I look up who is singing this song because I know it, but it's just on the tip of my tongue. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Swords. So again, there's this energy, I mean, the Knight of Wands, it can actually mean someone who is a temporary flirtation or someone who has a lot of chemistry, but it's not sustainable, okay? So I feel the next six weeks, there's a potential to flirt or have a fling, depending on what you want, no judgment here. Uh, the Ace of Wands kind of clarifies that, that there's a spark between you and someone new. The Eight of Pentacles indicates you're deciding to work on yourself, though, okay? I feel like you're more focused on your projects. Eight is the number of the self, and then we have the Six of Swords. So this can indicate that you're going to move on from this person, okay? That, you know, this is a temporary, fleeting flirtation. It feels wonderful for everybody. There's no sadness here. I mean, you may have be a little bit disappointed feeling, oh, this had potential. But if you really like remember what you've learned, you'll recognize the signs that this person, it wasn't going to work. Okay. I hate to give that message, but I got to be honest with the cards. I feel like you're being guided towards another. Okay. With that six of swords. Um, but it can also be a test of what you're really looking for. So, you know, I feel there's this energy of you going, oh, this person would be really nice but, and there's a but. So listen to the but. Whenever there's a but, it means they're not everything that you're looking for in a person, okay? I always say that if someone comes to me and says, oh, I really want this, but what do you think? And I'm like, well, if you're asking, well, what do you think? Then you really don't want that, or you're not sure. Whenever you're sitting on the fence about anything, it tends to mean it's not 100% right for you because when you know, you know, you go for it, okay? There's no uh, second guessing or questioning. Your gut instinct is saying, this is the one. And when you meet this person, this new person at this event, you'll know immediately. 
Now, in the near future, we have the Three of Swords. So this can indicate difficulty or still sitting with pain or sadness, okay? Trying to get over a disappointment or an expectation that has not been met. So it could be, you know, there was a flirtation here and it just didn't go the way you'd hoped for. But please remember, if there is a person who you're connecting to and suddenly it doesn't work out, it means someone else is right for you. So um, what is meant for you will never pass you by. So let me just pull a card on this Three of Swords for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide? Uh, five of Wands can mean inner battle, inner conflict. You know, some of you may feel a lot of tension or you may find that the dating scene is challenging and you're wondering, will you ever meet love? Well, as I said, the answer is yes. It almost feels like you're in training right now. Um, you're going through a spiritual evolution. Okay. So the flirtation could be challenging. Okay. Uh, we've got that Knight of Wands there. It could also be that you're tempted to um, keep the door open for this person who is it seems very temporary. Again, it's a flirtation. I actually feel like both of you leave on kind of good terms. Um, but you may feel, oh, I thought that could have been something. So I just got to be honest with you there. But I feel this person, they bring too much drama. There's something about this person that they're not completely emotionally available. But you feel it. You're very intuitive. You have a lot of empathy. You just know. So really tap into that intuition regarding this flirtation that is going to show up in the next six weeks, but you know it's really not going anywhere. But it may present like a challenge, like, oh, just when I thought I knew, and then I knew it wasn't right, I got to start again. But you're not starting from scratch, you're starting from experience. And that Ten of Cups, that happy ever after, it is coming for you, okay? Uh, we've got the Hermit energy, which is on from the Three of Swords. This indicates that you are in a solitary energy in the next six weeks and that you are independent. Uh, I feel like you are going inward for truth and wisdom. You're gaining a lot of knowledge about yourself. But this is also to withdraw, okay? So it could be after a flirtation or it's almost like, you know what, I can't do this. And maybe that's what that lost that loving feeling song is all about because this can be that you're fed up with the dating scene just when you think you know you don't know and it just feels so sort of like a minefield but the hermit energy can indicate that you're taking a temporary time out a pause in order to just get straight about what it is that you want if you want a fling or you want like a, a temporary connection it's always there for you the potential position indicates, you know, you're very attractive. You can have anybody you really want to if you really have the confidence within yourself to go and get it. But if you're looking for something a little bit more serious, I see you conserving yourself and waiting for the one. And that's what this card is all about, okay? Knowing what is right for you. Also, this is a card of being wonderfully independent and falling in love with your life, seeking inspiration. So I feel like, you know, the hermit is always searching for the star or has the lantern with the star in it. And now this is about you choosing when it's the right time to allow yourself to be seen and to heal. Okay, um, so um, with the two of wands there, this is the external circumstances because this reading is based on the next six weeks. It does indicate that there is a wait. Okay, a little bit of a pause there. Not too long because it's showing up in your six weeks reading. So I feel just after the six weeks period, you could be put in the position to meet someone uh, new. But this is waiting for results. Okay, now I really want to pull a card on... Um, this energy because the two of wands with the knight of wands and the three of swords it can indicate that someone that you have chemistry with is presenting as someone who's temporary but it may be that they are going away or there's a delay okay and they have travel plans for example or you do and then you want to see if it's going to go somewhere so i just want to tap into that that's not going to resonate with everyone but i just want to tap in and see what's happening there can you show me this Knight of Wands with the Two of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles? Is this going to slowly move into something more solid? Knight of Sword. Okay, this person, they're going through some lifestyle changes. You'll be waiting a long time for this person, okay? Um, what I'm being given is that there is an alternative person coming in. Um, 
This basically means, you know, that it's fast and furious and really hot and heavy, um, but the Three of Wands indicates you'll turn your back on this person and there is an alternative coming in for you, someone who is more in alignment with your heart. Uh, this card literally means you're on the right path to meet someone new, okay? So I just wanted to clarify that. Uh, you won't have to wait too long, but... I do feel that, you know, it's a little bit beyond the six weeks that I'm reading for. We have the Ten of Cups. This is your hope and fear position. So, uh, of course, you're hoping for the happy ever after. And this is an indication that you will get that. Um, the Ten of Cups indicates you will be able to settle down with this person. The fear, of course, is investing in something where someone suddenly leaves or where there's conflict. Um you would hate to basically invest or connect to somebody who leaves later on, abandons the connection or doesn't work on things. And I feel the person that you're about to meet, Ace of Pentacles, indicates true blue energy, someone who invests from the very beginning. So um, I feel that also there's an energy here that you hope your soul tribe or your family will kind of embrace this new person who comes in. And I feel like they will. Okay, this person is coming in for you. Uh, they value you. They they feel right for you is the energy that I'm getting. Uh, now we've got the Four of Swords. So yeah, six weeks. I feel like you're going to remain single. I got to be honest. Okay, but the Four of Swords is really to take care of your own needs. Sometimes when we get busy or we like get into a relationship that could be toxic or controlling in some way, we forget about our own needs. We neglect ourselves. So I feel this is a period for you to fall in love with you and to think in quietness, to find clarity about what it is that's a deal breaker in relationships for you. Uh, maybe go through some meditation or rest or recuperation, healing, but you are protected this card literally means you're protected during difficult times. And sometimes when we take a pause from love or a project or something, it is the universe stepping in, intervening to give you a pause on purpose so that you can uh, wait for the right moment, the right opportunity, or feel fulfilled all by yourself and find that happiness within, because it's certainly not outside yourself, okay? A relationship or a job or anything outside yourself, it cannot fulfill you. Only you can feel fulfilled from the inside and everything else is a welcome addition in your life there. Now we've got the three of wands which showed up there for you just a moment ago, which indicates you're on the right path to meeting someone new, okay? As I said, you're turning the back on anything that you experienced in the past. And that three of wands, it literally means alternative opportunities are being made available for you right now. And, you know, this is a time where you are going to be in harmony with your heart's desire and you're making really good choices for yourself. Trust the process. So I really feel there's someone new coming in. In fact, there may even be two, okay, but I feel one of them is connected to this um, sort of temporary person. So flirtation, potential fling, depending on where you want to take that. Um, and then we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the start of something that has a lot of potential. These two people are not the same. I want you to be aware of that. Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. Uh, pentacles tend to be investment. Okay, so when you apply an Ace of Pentacles to um, a love reading, it's basically the start of something that from the very beginning, you can see it's going to go somewhere. It's a gift of a relationship. Um, and it can also indicate that both of you are attracted to each other physically as well as mentally. And um, I'm actually seeing a card right now being opened with lots of butterflies flying out really random. So either you've just received a card like that, because of course we've gone through your birthday season. Um, some of you have still yet a birthday to come. So you may actually receive a card where you open it up and there's all the butterflies that fly out. A very novelty card. I mean, it could be something that you're going to see. Perhaps maybe it's not something you're going to receive, or maybe this new person talks about it, maybe gives you one or maybe has one. So please take it as it resonates. I mean, Butterflies flying out of a card can indicate major transformation. Cards tend to be gifted to people. So it could be uh, that you're going to get an invitation to a 
wedding or a birthday or some sort of monumental feast date or celebration and there may be like some sort of card with butterflies or I mean butterflies as I said it means change transformation evolution so it may mean that this person has the potential to change your life in the most positive of ways um yeah, but look out for that card because I feel it's something that perhaps the person will give you at some point in your life. So is there a new love coming your way? The answer is yes. Is it in the next six weeks? I would say no. I would say that an invitation comes to you in the next six weeks. And I would say that there is a potential for a flirtation and a fling potentially if you want to take it to that next level with a person. But ultimately, I feel that may not go anywhere. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Golden Angels. Can you please guide? I think they won that card because it's kind of stuck. Uh, but let's see. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Golden Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know? And they want me to go one more. Okay. So we have dreams. Okay, so pay close attention to your dreams. Could be that you dream of an event that you're invited to or perhaps even dream of something that's connected to meeting your new person. I feel like you won't see their face, okay, in your dream. So it could be that you are aware that you're talking to someone in a very flirtatious manner and that it's going to turn into something really important, but you may not remember their face or you may not see their face in your dream. Okay. So that's coming out there. Uh, when you look for deeper meanings within your dreams, you uncover a part of yourself, your psyche. Information about yourself and others may be uncovered that goes ignored in waking life. Unravel, navigate, recall. And as I said, I feel this is the energy that you're in right now. Learning more about who you are, what you're capable of, and perhaps going a little bit deeper on who you are. And of course, it's number 42. When you reduce it, four plus two is six, the number of balance, harmony, reciprocity, and not being an overgiver, learning from previous experiences. We've also got yes, okay, exciting, yes, this is going to be it. Uh, we've got the answer is yes, confirmation that someone new is coming in for you. And finally, we also have coffee. Okay, now this can indicate two people catching up or two people coming together to get to know each other on a deeper level. Uh, it says here, connecting, discussions, catching up, energize, chat, and meeting. So there is a meeting here of two people. I feel there's an energy of opposites attract, okay? Um, but this person, they inquire about you before they come over and talk to you, and they will invite you out. This person is going to make sure that they don't miss an opportunity to get to know you better. So they're going to be bold and sort of sweep you off your feet and say, we should hang out. We should like, you know, meet up and go and do this wonderful thing. And you're going to be like, yeah, why not? Let's do it. And it's the start of something really, really special. Okay. Now, uh, for those of you who uh, want to uh, take part in the competition to win a free personal reading, uh, all you have to do is uh, take a moment of quietness and listen to a song called You're the Voice by John Farnham. And then whilst you're listening to that song, write in the comment section below, I stand strong with an attitude of gratitude. Music, it raises vibrations, and we are currently in a very critical point in the world where playing a song that raises vibrations is very important. Um, and of course, if you don't like the song that my guides have suggested, then that's, of course, fine. So please choose the one that resonates with you more. It's more about raising vibrations and the effect shall be the same, but the song must be played at the same time as writing that comment because there is a vibrational attachment that goes to that as well. And then my guides will point me in the direction of one person, uh, a subscriber, to offer that free personal reading to. And I'll announce the competition winner at the end of the month, okay? So your final runes are uh, the giant rune. That's all about protection. And I see that a lot of you are in a very protective mode. Remember, what is meant for you will never pass you by. So breathe. Fall in love with your life. Be your wonderful, unique self. And remember that you are you. And that is your superpower. And you are lovable. And you will be loved. Okay. Um, now, also, this is a rune that indicates luck. So suddenly, out of the blue, meeting someone new, but also good counsel, someone who really listens, a very deep and thoughtful person coming in for you. Uh, and also, we have uh, the cattle rune. So that's all about wealth. Okay. But it's also about investment and fulfillment. 
So when it comes to love, it's more about, you know, you being in a relationship where you feel valued and um, putting any past disappointments behind you. So um, very exciting. You are about to meet someone and they really are going to treat you very, very well. Okay, uh, so I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little notification bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Cancerians, and love and light.